Welcome to Grow and Give, a modern victory garden project from Colorado State University Extension. We're here to help you learn to grow food for yourself, your family, your neighbors, or your community. Share the harvest, keep it local. Insect pests of vegetable gardens, grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are one of those insects that people hate to see arrive in their summer gardens. Actually, grasshoppers overwinter year round in our landscape, and so people will see them in the winter, but those aren't typically the type of grasshoppers that do a lot of damage to our plants in the uh, vegetable garden. Grasshoppers are really mobile. They're the jumping insect that can fly for miles, and when they arrive, they feed on so many different things. The short list is they like lettuce, beans, corn, onions. They also like Napa cabbage. They like uh, carrots. They like the paint on the side of your house. They like everything. And this is a real problem for any of our plants in the garden, especially if you're trying to grow vegetables. The only way to truly control grasshoppers is at the place where their eggs are being laid and the young nymphs are hatching. The first instar nymphs don't move very far from the burrow that they're um, hatched in. So that's where we have to target any type of control. Unfortunately, where grasshoppers lay their eggs is in dry, undisturbed soils, like you see under fence lines or along roadways or in fields that are not being used. Typically speaking, the hatch for grasshoppers is anywhere from mid-May to the end of June, and they develop and begin to fly good distances in order to find a lot of forage to feed on. It takes about 40 days for them to reach adulthood. And like I said, they really feed on a lot of different types of plants. One of the types of controls that you could try in your garden is a repellent, and the repellent is based in neem. Neem is a product derived from the neem tree, and if you keep reapplying it every time uh, you, after every irrigation or rain, you will probably be able to repel some of the grasshoppers, but they're a very persistent insect. Some people like to try Nosema locusta. This is an organic control that is actually a disease of grasshoppers. So it has a really short shelf life. Where you should apply it is in the early areas of hatch. So in these dry undisturbed areas. If you put Nosema locusta in your garden and the grasshoppers arrive as adults, typically speaking, they're not gonna feed much on it. You could try to bait it with some wheat bran, but the most effective method is to try and control them at the source. If that's not successful, what you could try to do is floating row covers to physically exclude them from the garden. But floating row covers don't allow pollinators to get into your plants. And also it can get kind of hot underneath that floating row cover. Whatever you try to do with uh, grasshoppers, you have to start early and keep at it. Again, if you're using some kind of a product that will be washed off if you're irrigating or if we get rainstorms, keep reapplying it and just be persistent. Learn more, grow more. Contact your local CSU Extension office.